take this bunch on in. I'll look over that hill over there, see if I can find any more. You'll be along after that? Well, if I don't find any, I'm liable to be sitting by the fire by the time you get those in the corral. Take it easy. Right. You'll never get that thing off. Why don't you quit? We can try, can't we? Much good as it'll do. Tyler, he's slowing us down. I'm telling you, Bolton's picked up our tracks by now. You, you ain't gonna leave me, Sutton. We're not leaving you. If you hadn't killed that guard, Bolton wouldn't have found out about us for another day. I never meant to kill him. I was just paying him back for something he'd done to me. Over to this friend's place where you're taking us. Maybe he'll have a chisel or something. Sure. We'll just walk in and tell her you always go around wearing chains. A girl? You were good for something, brother, but uh, I never figured to be making houses out of cards. <clears throat> hmm? I ain't got but three more cards left. I'm gonna make it this time for sure. Gee, I'm proud of you, brother. Yeah, you have to breathe to that gum hard when you're talking. You don't blow out my house of cards here. Oh, yeah. Well, see, what I mean, I'm proud of you. I mean, I'm really proud of you. Oh. Damn it, little Joe! <laughs> Be out there. Yeah. Good. Did you collect them strays? Huh? Yeah. Yeah. I, uh, I got a couple of them, and I, I checked them right off on the tow sheet. Good. Oh. Haven't get back to? No, no. But he said he'd be right along. Good. Sit down, Pa. Glad to see you. Mm -hmm. You boys are riding the line out by the old trains, weren't you, little Joe? Maybe Adam just decided to go by and pay Miss Netta a visit, Paul. You know, I wish one of you boys had sparked in Miss Netta. She's a fine girl. She's a handsome one too. Hey, Paul. Hmm? What about little Joe? Don't you think he'd make a nice husband for Miss Netta? And you could arrange it too, couldn't you, Paul? That's not a bad idea. Hey, look, you're kidding. I don't want to get married, Pa. I... Oh, she's a pretty girl, isn't she? Well, yeah, but... Oh, she's pretty, ain't she? Pa, I think she's one of the prettiest girls I've ever seen. Of course she is. And she's got the makings of one of the finest little horse ranches in this country, ain't she, Paul? She certainly has. It's all paid for and clear, little Joe. Yeah, well, I don't care. I just, I just don't feel like getting married. <laughs> well, not for a couple of days, anyway. <laughs> you know, Huss, I think he's going to change his mind. I'm <laughs> sure he will, Paul. And when he does, we're going to all be real proud of him. Yeah, it must be Adam. Sounds like more than one to me, Paul. Detail, oh. halt! Soldiers. Oh, that's strange. Yes, that's right. Detail this month. Stand to your horses. Captain James Bolton, provisional barracks, Fort Dayton. Well, Captain. Oh, please, come in. Oh, these are my sons, Horse and Little Joe. How are you, Captain? Well, Captain, I suppose you must have your hands pretty full these days, what with the Indian uprisings and all. Oh, please, sit down. Fort Dayton is a casuals post. What's that? place for troops deemed not fit for line duty. Well, the least we could do is get your men some coffee. It's pretty cold out there today. Uh, Hoss, see that Hobson get some coffee out to the manager. Hold that. My men are on duty. 
Well, I ain't on duty, Captain. You want some coffee? No. I'm trailing three deserters that escaped from my stockade. Well, Captain, do you think they headed up this way? The trail led to your land. Well, as I was riding fence all morning, I didn't say anything. How about you, Horst? Nope. <laughs> no sign of tracks, campfire, trampled down brush. I didn't see anything. Now, that's odd. Well, Captain, I don't see why that should be so odd. We have a pretty big piece of land here. Three men could very easily lose themselves on it. Perhaps. Who else is in the house with you now? Up seeing our cook, our captain. Now, surely you don't think that those three men are hiding in this house? It's not within my province to think one way or the other, Mr. Cartwright. Then let me set you straight, Captain. Those men are not here. Then you'll have no objection to my men searching the area. Captain! I just told you. Those men are not in this house. Let me state the situation very precisely for you, Mr. Cartwright. We know that those three men came to this general area. It is also quite obvious they cannot evade detection without some outside help. Now, anyone aiding them in any way will be charged with and tried for obstructing military justice. Hoss, will you be good enough to show the captain out? You bet you, Paul. Captain, we've got a man out here, Captain. <laughs> Adam, my son, let him go. Let him go. Release him. Adam, what happened? I don't know, Pa. Just west of where me and Joe split up, I heard this noise, turned around, somebody jumped me. Did you see their faces? Uh, come on, let's get him into the house. Joe, yeah. get the liniment. Okay, Pa. Well, it's not as bad as I thought at first. The men that assaulted you, could you tell if there were three of them? Well, I know there were at least two of them. I... Uh... Somewhere in the back of my mind, I heard him talking about whether they kill me or not. It could have been a third. Take it easy, Bob. Oh, it looks to me like it's right now time for some settling up to be done. Well, we'll do the settling up. Move over. Now, Hoss, I want you to bandage Adam up and get him up to bed. Well, Paul, I, I kind of figured on riding with you. Well, little Joe knows exactly where Adam and he were running up those strays. Now, here. Anytime you say, Pa. Yeah. These are the men I'm after. They belong to me. I think there's something we'd better straighten out, Captain. This is my land you're on, and that's my son who's been ambushed. Now, if you want to ride along, fine. But you ride where I say, and you ride behind me. Otherwise, take your men and get off the Ponderosa. And if they are the men I'm after... Joseph? Take a breather. Sutton, are you sure you know where you're taking us? Well, if you want to strike out on your own, go ahead. I'm not stopping you, am I? The ranch is over that way, I think. Yeah, I'm sure of it. Well, how, how do you know they're going to take us in? I told you I worked there when I was drifting west a couple of years back. Yeah, it stayed on, maybe, except the old man running it booted me off because his daughter took to me. I always promised Netta I'd be coming back for. Just a little sooner than I figured, that's all. No! Oh! 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 Ain't nothing to hear us but hoot owls and crawlies. I don't like it neither. You ain't ever known anything better. Cut it up, both of you. That's an order. That's an order. <laughs> you hear him, Mertz? Only you ain't an officer no more, Tyler, so maybe you ought to forget about issuing orders. 
You know, I still don't figure you out. Mertz here was facing the gallows. Me? I still had five years left to serve. Hey, this cave, it's a pretty good place to hold up. Uh, you had about six months to do and you'd have been free. So why risk your neck breaking out? My reasons don't concern you. Maybe. Maybe not. Look, uh, you two hold up here. I'll go see if it's clear at the girl's place. No, I'll just go with you if you don't mind. All right, but not him. Let her scare off. She sees him parading up in them chains. You gonna leave me? Yeah, yeah. yeah he's right. You, uh, you lie low here till we get some uh, other clothes and something to pry those chains off with. You, you coming back for sure? You, you give me your Bible word? You have my word. If you're coming, let's get moving. There's no sign of them up there, Pa. They must have headed off in that direction. Yeah, probably kept to the creek there on the other side. Turning dry now, but the bank should still be soft enough to leave prints. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody came through here, Pa. Not too long ago. any spot that's big enough to hide any of them. If that's all right with you, Mr. Cartwright. the two men that were with you. I charge and hereby arrest this man for known and specific crimes against the Articles of War. Uh, Captain, he's a military prisoner now. I'll get your answers for you. Corporal, take the prisoner in charge. Yes, so sir. you better get those answers, Captain. All right, Mertz. Where are the other two? You put a blotch on my record, Mertz, and I intend to erase it. I don't know. We split off. That's the truth, mister. I swear it. Just get the answers, Captain. Maybe you're right. If he knew where the others were, he'd be pouring it out. Because he's scum. And scum always breaks. Isn't that right, Mertz? Or have you forgotten what it's like in the hot box? Someday, someday somebody's going to get you, butcher. Well, it won't be you, Mertz. I can assure you of that. No. No! No! No, 
I'm gonna die and go to that hot box! No! No! The prisoner was attempting to escape. You're a witness to that. I'm also a witness to the fact that you deliberately tried to murder him. Bolton, I'm going to see to it that my good friend Colonel Metcalf at Fort Dayton gets to know exactly what kind of officer he has in his command. <laughs> See the gal who lives on it. We, we better get cleaned up. First, I'm scared of death walking this way. Scared? I guess you didn't listen good when I told you about her. We were real friendly, Netta and me. It ain't her I'm worried about. It's her pa. The stable's over here. Don't close the door so we can hear if anyone's coming. Hey, there's what we want. Here, put this on. Help you look human again. Good looking, Colt. His mother must have died. He needs care. This is a fine time to be fussing over horses. I sometimes prefer them to people. And what's that supposed to mean? Nothing. Just a thought. <laughs> I'd sure like to see Butcher Bolton's face right now. <laughs> He's probably chasing us halfway across the Sierra. Uh-uh. I doubt it. Bolton's a sadist, but he was one of the best Indian trackers in the army. Well, we're not Indians. Besides, after we hole up here for a couple of days, they'll probably quit looking for us. Not Bolton. All right, not Bolton, maybe, but the brass. They'll figure it's not worth the effort. You're an officer. You know how they think. I was an officer. About this uh, girl of yours. You've been gone for two years. How do you know she uh, hasn't married or something? I know. Yeah, I'd like to make a little bet on it. You already have. Your life. Yours too. And don't you ever forget it. I told you I'd be coming back. I thought you'd forgotten me. No, no. You think I could ever forget you? Oh, uh, uh, Tyler, come here. Uh, uh, this is my partner. I've been telling him all about you. Now he, now he can see everything I said was true. Tyler, ain't she a beauty? Sutton, you, uh, you never even got close. It's a, it's a pleasure to meet you, Miss. Uh, Tyler's my name. Uh, Paul, Paul Tyler. Miss? Her name's Nether. Call her Nether. How do you do? Are you in the army with Jimmy? Uh, no, no, not, not exactly. Well, you see, Nether, I, I left the army some time back. Uh, Tyler and me have been uh, doing a little prospecting. Oh. 
Well, why, why didn't you just come right on up to the house? What are you doing out here? Oh, we were covered with trail dirt. We wanted to wash up a bit before we barged in on you. Now, was that fair? You get all prettied up and... Well, just look at me. Oh, honey, you're wonderful. Uh, just gonna, beautiful. I'm going to take a walk outside. Uh, uh, wait a minute, Tyler. Uh, uh, yeah, your pa's up in the house, I guess, huh? Oh, Jimmy, pa died over a year ago. Oh, that's a real shame. She was sorry, honey. Uh, who's taking care of the place? Oh, I have a hired hand, Charlie. He's he's in town for a week. That, that's awful, you're being alone like this, honey. Sure is good to see you again. Why didn't you write to me? Oh, I couldn't. I, I was moving around a lot. You know how it is. Yes, sir. I know how it is, but do you? Oh, Jimmy, after a while I I gave up hoping and then and then I just stopped dreaming. I didn't stop. That's the only thing that kept me going. I'm going to make up all that last time to you. Jimmy, I don't think you can. I just don't think you can. Let me try. Ben, I've known you for a long time. But I can't accept these charges you make against Captain Bolton, not without proof. Well, what more proof do you want? Well, at the moment, it's your word against his. That's right. Well, what did he tell you? That Mertz was trying to escape? That's what he says in his report. Well, have you spoken to Mertz? Have you heard his side of the story? I would have done so, of course. Unfortunately, Private Mertz is dead. Dead? He attacked a guard in the stockade last night. During the ensuing struggle, he was killed. And you believe that? You really believe that? Colonel, how many men have died in Captain Bolton's stockade? Captain Bolton is an officer with a distinguished record, Ben. Commanded several times for bravery and action. Perhaps you noticed his hand. He was captured and tortured by the Sioux. The Sioux are savages. Captain Bolton, I presume, was a civilized, responsible person. Come in. Adams, yo, Boyd, right. The colonel sent for me. You know Mr. Cartwright? Yes, sir, I do. Captain Bolton, Mr. Cartwright has made certain charges against you. I thought you should be here to defend yourself. I'm aware of Mr. Cartwright's charges. I'm sure the Colonel knows my behavior has been and always will be strictly according to Army regulations. Colonel, I've never heard of any Army regulations that cover the killing of prisoners. Mr. Cartwright, maybe you don't know whom you're defending. Private Mertz killed a fellow soldier in a brawl over a card game. As for Sutton, he attempted an armed robbery of an Army payroll. Ben... This is a casual's post. I don't know whether you realize that it's made up of outcasts and misfits. They're still men. And as such, they're entitled to certain minimum standards of treatment. Ben, I respect your opinion and your judgment. But this is the army. And I have to stand behind Captain Bolton. Yes. Yes. I understand. Good day, Colonel. Good day, Ben. Thank you, sir. Captain, I chose my words carefully in front of Mr. Cartwright. But your conduct has been brought into question... If there's the slightest indication of any transgression of regulations on your part, I'll see that you're investigated. And if the facts so warrant court-martialed. Is that understood? Yes, sir. That's all. With the Colonel's permission, I beg leave to return to the Ponderosa with a detail of men. Well, that's private land. We can't search it without permission of the owner. Or an order from a civilian court. I have already obtained the required court order from the Federal District Court of this territory. Request granted. But if I were you, Captain, I'd remember that warning I gave you. 
I'd remember it very carefully. Forward. Sir. That was great, honey. Nothing like a good meal to make a man feel like he belonged. Thank you. Well, you haven't touched your food. Oh, I'm... I'm sorry. I guess I've spent too much time eating army chow. Army chow? Oh, well, he was in the army, too, before we started prospecting. Who's that? Well, I don't know who it could be at this hour. Never, honey, would you do me a big favor? Uh, don't say anything uh, about Tyler and me being here. Well, why not? Well, uh, we just hit a big silver strike, maybe, and uh, it's best nobody knows about it. Not yet. Oh. You understand. Good morning, Hoss. Good morning, ma'am. You sure do look nice in your new dress and all. Thank you. Uh, ma'am, I, I don't want to worry you none, but Paul thought you ought to know about it. There's there's some army prisoners loose. Army prisoners? Yes, ma'am. There was three of them, but they ain't two now. One of them's already been caught. Oh. Well, uh, well, thank you very much, Hoss. Ma'am, hmm? everything's all right here, ain't it? I mean, there ain't been nobody around here. No, no, I, I, I'd i ask him for coffee, but my stove, it, well, it, it's not working right. Well, Ma'am, I'll be happy to No, Hoss, uh, it's not broken, it's just hard to handle. But thank you very much, Hoss. Yeah, Ma'am, you right sure everything's all right? Yes, Hoss. Morning. Never be sure about people, honey. Uh, uh, we heard about them army prisoners, too. Uh, it might have been one of them. Might have been. Just exactly where have you been prospecting? Well, uh, up north of peace. Ain't that right, Tyler? Sudden. Yeah. Yeah, I... Guess it is, if you say so. Sure, it's right. What's got into you? Jimmy? Is it you they're looking for? Is it? Well, I guess it is. But I was framed. Honey, you know me, I was wild, but I never did anything dishonest. And I tried to serve out my time. But, but you don't know what that, that stockade was like. Beatings, starvation. There was a captain, got his fun by kicking us around. You know what happened to him? He was in a sweat box for three weeks. When they brought him out, he was almost dead. Tell her! Tell her! Yeah, yeah, that part's true. Why didn't you tell me all this last night? I was going to. I was afraid. Of me? You were afraid of me? That's what Captain Bolton does to you. He makes you feel like an animal all the time, and you're scared. That if you love me, that if you love me, you help us. What can I do? Hide us out. Oh, Sutton. Why do you have to drag her into this? Why don't we just... Why don't we just get out where we can? To where? They got Mertz. That means Bolton thinks we're heading out of here. If we're gonna stay here, it's our only chance. Yes, you can stay here. Both of you. I want you to. I knew I could count on you. Thank you, Miss Nutter. Well, I, I don't know, Paul. She she seemed all right. It was just that she was kind of nervous-like or something. You mean by her not letting you in the place? Well, that and, and it was just a feeling I got. I don't know how to explain it. If I didn't know Miss Nutter better, I'd, I'd think she was trying to get rid of me or something. Well, if things didn't seem right, why don't you have a good look around the place? I kicked myself all the way home for not doing just that, little brother. I think we'd all better take a good look around that place. Suits me fine. I'm getting tired of being an invalid. Adam, I, I'd rather you stay at home. Oh, Pa. Oh, what, with Captain Bolton and those deserters still in the area? Can't leave the house unguarded. 
All right, I'll hold the fort. <laughs> The coat will be needing this. You and that Tyler, you sure do a lot of worrying about that coat. I'll see you later. Where are you going? Scout around the area. Hey, that's army talk. I guess it rubs off on you whether you like it or not. Milk. He needs it. Is it warm? I think it's just right. Come on, little fella. Come on. Take some milk. Hmm? Poor substitute for your mama, huh? Where did you learn all about horses? I grew up with them. My father used to breed trotters back in Maryland. We don't see many of those out this way. I love to watch them, the way they move. You ought to see them being trained. Oh, they, they fight you, make it tough, but once you have their trust, you can depend on them. I wish you could say as much for people. You've been hurt pretty bad, haven't you? funny about this. I don't believe she left here without long enough for you. I don't know. You want to take a look out back. I'm going to look in the stable. All right, Pop. You know, I get a funny feeling about you. Like you don't care whether you get away or not. Oh, you're wrong, Netta. That's something I care about very much. Bolton's never going to get me back in that They do that to you? Oh, that's terrible. That's just terrible. I'm sorry you had to see that. Oh, I'm not. Netta. Netta, don't worry about me. I'm, I'm not worth it. I haven't known you very long, but I think you are. Please. I'm sorry, Netta. I mean it, my son. Put it down. Come on, put it down. And you drop that gun. Now, mister. I got the drop and I ain't gonna miss from here. Oh, this is Ben Cartwright, don't you? Get out of the way, Netta. Great work, pal. What's great about it? I, I might have killed him. Will he be all right? I hope so. I hit him hard. Too hard. Ben Cartwright, huh? The way he was talking. He knows who we are, doesn't he? I'm afraid he does. Nothing to be afraid of. His hard luck, not ours. Netta, get away from him. No! Get away from no, him! Daddy. Give him a Put it down, son. You, uh, you decided to start giving orders again, Lieutenant? I have no choice. You try killing him and you're dead. What's got into you? You, you wishing to have Bolton beat you to death? All right. All right. But we got to get out of here before he comes too. Where are you going to go? Do you have another friend? I'd stay here. What's the matter, Sutton? You forget something? Uh, 
Dad, I can't leave you. Not with all the plans I made for us. You and me, honey, we're going to make a great pair. Are we, Jimmy? Drop them, boys. Drop them. All right, get out of here. Come on, get over there. You all right, Paul? Yeah, I guess so. That was quite a walloping, man. What are you after? Give us a break. You can help us get out of the territory, but give us a break, that's all. Mister, you turn us back there and they're going to kill us. Yes, I saw the scars they got in the stockade. Please, Ben, can't you help them? That it's, it's an army matter. It's out of my hands. Well, what if one of them was your son, Hoss, or little Joe? Please, you've got to help them. Well, if they were my sons, I, I think I'd ask them to give themselves up. To the mercies of a Captain Bolton? Give me your name tags. What do you want them for? So I can convince the colonel that I've really seen you and that you are ready to give yourselves up. To Captain Bolton? I'll speak to the colonel. I'm sure he'll be as fair as he possibly can be. You ain't gonna do it, mister. Do we have any choice? One thing, Mr. Cartwright. If Bolton comes for us, no matter what it takes, I'm not going back. Take care of them. I'm taking you into custody. On what grounds, Captain? For aiding and abetting the escape of an army prisoner. Search him. Yes, sir. You're stepping over that line, Bolton. I'll be the judge of that. From the west, sir. Take your men in that direction and bring him along. Yes, sir. Lead on. gonna make it. It's funny what a thin line separates things. Yesterday I wouldn't have given him much of a chance. Sometimes it can be the same way with a man. Yesterday I might not have thought you were worth saving. Well, what... What makes you think I am now? Well, you saved Ben Cartwright's life. You know, we're going to be here for quite a while. Why don't you set yourself somewhere? Mm, I'm just stretching my legs. Well, I think you got all the kinks out. Sit down. All right, all right, friend. Don't, uh, don't get angry. You think quite a bit of that cold, don't you? Why not? 
He needed my help, and in a way, I needed him. Yeah. Mr. Tyler, you don't have to answer this unless you want to. What'd you do that got you into all this trouble? I was convicted of cowardice. Oh, don't look so surprised. It's true. The actual charge read dereliction of duty, refusal to obey a command, and cowardice in battle. It was in the border campaign against the Apaches. My first command. The, the regiment was pinned down. I was ordered to take my platoon and make a flank attack in, in the open. 27 men against 400 Apaches. I refused. Maybe it was because I was afraid. All I know is that I, I couldn't bring myself to lead 27 men to their deaths. How come they want you to do that in the first place? That's the, the terrible part. I didn't know at the time that it was meant to be a diversionary attack. The real attack was coming from the other flank. Well, they, they were thrown back and half the regiment wiped out. Maybe my life and the lives of my men could have made the difference. But now I... I'll never know. It wasn't cowardice, Paul. How could you obey an idiotic order and, and commit suicide with all your men? You're wrong, Miss Netta. It wasn't an idiotic order. The army generally knows what it's doing. Well, what were they doing when they put scars on him? Ma'am, you can't judge the whole army by a man like Captain Bolton. But, friend, that's the man we gotta go back to. Look, Pa told you he'd take care of that, didn't he? Look, your Pa's a good man, and maybe he's got good intentions, but he's never come up against anyone like Bolton before. I tell you, he's gonna kill us! Oh, no, he ain't. Look, there's only one way to beat this. And that's if you fix it so we don't have to go back. Mister, we can't do that. Can't you? This morning when I scouted the train, I left a buggy and a couple of horses up in the gully. All you have to do is turn your back for a couple of seconds and me and Tyler and a girl will disappear. Save your breath. Look, look, you think a lot of Netta, don't you? Don't you want her to be happy? Well, all right. What do you think she's going to feel like when she's watching him taking me away to be killed? She's, she's been waiting for me all these years. Tell him, Netta. Tell him to let us go. I can't, Jimmy. I, I just can't. But, but why not? Hey. What's been going on in this table besides taking care of sick colts? Take one step my way and I'll put a bullet in him. You do that, mister, and all the bullets in that gun ain't gonna keep me from squeezing the life out of you. Don't you worry, nun friend. I'll do it. I got nothing to lose now. Throw your gun on the floor. Come on! The other one. All right, you. Over there with him. Move! So long, Lieutenant. You had your chance. And you... You're gonna have what's left of him. After Captain Bolton gets through with it. Uh...
Corporal. You're a witness. He was armed and dangerous. You too, Mr. Cartwright. I was telling him that, that Paul's going to give himself up and that he doesn't have a gun. I'll, I'll tell him, Miss Nettie. But, but Captain Bowen ain't going to wait long. Well, just give us a minute. Yes, sir. Come on, little Joe. The back door, we can still make it to the gully. Oh, Netta, Netta. Bolton would shoot you down just as fast as he would me. Oh, I don't care. I don't want him to kill you. No, honey, I can't risk your life. Paul, I love you. Me? You love me? Yes. Oh, yes. I want to be with you. Then I can't run. I can't. Run. He ain't got a gun, Captain. Get out of the way. Corporal, this is Army business. I'm taking that prisoner. Don't forget he hasn't got a gun. Take them aside, Corporal. Your gun, Tyler. Cap! I said drop your gun. All right! Cut right. You're gonna be sorry you interfered with the army. He's dead. You better get started back to the fort, Corporal. We'll bring the captain in. Tyler? How long? I don't know. Well, I'll be here. Let's go, Corporal. 